Pre installation, all you have to do is press the lock button twice on your key with one small interval. Just like this. And here you go, the car started. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install my key premium remote start. I'm going to be working on 2017 Hyundai Elantra. It is also suitable for 2017 through 2020 models. This product is 100% plug and play. You don't need to cut any wires and it works with your original key. This product was specifically designed for a regular key ignition. Now, let me show you how to install it. In this package, you're going to get two sets of wires. One for uh, your car's module and this one's for the ignition key. And a module. Make sure for this specific model, the dip switch is set up like this. Every single switch is up. Now let's get started. For this installation, you're going to need a ratchet, 10 millimeter socket, trim removal, and a regular screwdriver, Philip. Now we're going to remove this panel over here. You have, all you have to do is just squeeze the little pin like this and then pull it down. Just like that. You have one left, one right, and one in the middle. Just press this pin and pull it down. Now the whole point of this area is to remove two connectors from a module and the module is right over here. It's right above my hand and it has two module, uh, two connectors. For the sake of the video, I'm going to bring the whole thing down, connect the connectors and I will go from there. But if your hands are small enough, you could just stick your hand in and unplug the two connectors. So now we're going to remove this glove box to get access to the screw. And it's right over here. Get some light for you. And we're removing this, this screw over here. So now we're going to remove this, this bolt over here. Now, once there is no screw, we're going to pull this thing down, rotate it a little bit. We're trying to get access to the connectors. So now we're going to be working with these two connectors. That's the white one first, and the blue one. Just press the pin and pull it out. Sometimes you're going to have to wiggle it but that's how you do it now now we're going to connect it to the t-harness we're going to match the the size of the connectors another one just like that and now the blue one which is a little smaller so you want to mismatch them. Make sure it goes all the way in and it clicks. That's the most important thing over here. Just like that. Now we're going on the other side. Leave this wire hanging for now. So now we're going to remove this panel and the one over here. First things first, we're going to drop the wheel, ship it to us. And we're going to pop this panel first out. Just like so. And it has two screws over here. I'm gonna turn the wheel, both sides, and then there's one screw on the bottom, right over here somewhere. I'm gonna use a Phillips screwdriver for that. Pop the wheel latch, it's fine. I'm gonna put the keys inside. Just like that. Like that, now the other one. And one on the bottom, which is right over here. Just 
go down get the bottom panel out like so now the second t harness we're gonna unplug this plug it in here and put it right back into the car's plug by doing so press this pin and with your second hand pull it up not connected in two this connector make sure it's all the way and the other side plug it in just like so once you finish connecting these connectors now we're gonna run this wire all the way through here it will come out from underneath and then from there we're gonna go right behind this panel to remove this panel you just need a regular screwdriver unscrew this bolt it'll pop right out and then we'll run the wire from underneath now we're in the passenger side so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the data connector like that and then the power connector that goes straight through the steering wheel just like that you're gonna hear a few beeps and we're good to go before you put everything back together the way we took it out make sure you test it first once you test it to hide everything you're gonna have to unscrew this little plastic bolt pull it out and you're gonna have enough room behind it to tuck this module back in this installation all you have to do is press the lock button twice on your key with one small interval just like this. And here you go, the car started. Once you're in the car, the car is in the sleeping mode. You won't be able to shift gears until you put the key in the ignition. Here you go, now the car is ready to go. Put in gear. And you're good to go. Once you finish testing it out, make sure you put everything back together the same way we took it out. And you're good to go. Guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if this video helps. And I'll see you in the next one.